Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered why, despite all the high-tech features in modern cars, you still have to press the brake pedal just to start your engine with a keyless ignition system? I mean, we're in the age of remote start, touch screens, and self-parking. But your car still wants you to press the brake. What's going on here? Is it just a safety thing? A leftover from older systems? Or is there more to the story? Today, we're breaking it all down. The real reason behind why keyless ignition still makes you press the brake. Let's get into it, right here, on History of Simple Things. Before we can understand the brake thing, let's quickly talk about how keyless ignition actually works. Keyless ignition systems rely on a small key fob that communicates wirelessly with your car. As long as the fob is within range, usually inside the car, the system recognizes it and allows you to start the engine with the push of a button. No more turning a key, no more digging through your bag or pockets, just press the button and go. But only if your foot is on the brake. That extra step, pressing the brake pedal, is known as a brake pedal lockout. It's not a glitch or an unnecessary hoop to jump through. It's a built-in safety feature. In short, the car needs to make sure that you're ready to control it before it allows the engine to start. Think about it. The moment your engine comes to life, your car is technically awake. In some cases, especially with automatic transmissions, if your foot isn't on the brake and the car is in gear or was left in an unexpected state, it could lurch forward. So this brake pedal requirement acts as a kind of final confirmation, a handshake between human and machine that says, okay, we're good to go. Now here's where it gets serious. Modern cars are designed to reduce every possible risk and starting a car without holding the brake opens the door to a lot of potential dangers. For example, let's say a child is playing in the front seat and decides to push the start button. Without a brake lockout, that engine could roar to life, and depending on the state of the vehicle, that car could move. Even if it's unlikely, automakers don't take chances. The brake requirement ensures that only someone who's actually in control of the car and ready to drive is starting it. It's like a digital seatbelt check, and it's required across virtually all automatic transmission vehicles today. Here's something you might not realize. Modern keyless systems are very sensitive. Your car can detect your key fob from several feet away, and if it's close enough, the system is ready to start, even if you're just walking by with the fob in your pocket. So what happens if someone accidentally leans into the car and hits the start button while the key is nearby? That's where the brake lockout saves the day. No brake press equals no engine start. It's a simple way to avoid accidental starts when you're not even trying to drive. This brake press requirement is especially important in cars with automatic transmissions. Unlike manuals, where the driver has to manage a clutch and gear shifts manually, automatics are designed for ease. But that also means the car can shift into drive quickly and potentially move if safeguards aren't in place. When you press the brake, you're basically signaling to the car, I'm here, I'm in control, and I'm ready. This signal also tells the transmission system that it's safe to unlock the gear shift, which is why you often hear a little click when you press the brake before shifting out of park. You might be wondering, was this brake step necessary with older key turn ignitions? Actually, kind of. Even with traditional keys, many cars, especially those made after the 1990s, required the brake pedal to be pressed before shifting out of park. 
This safety standard was phased in over time as automatic transmissions became the norm. So when keyless ignition came along, engineers simply combined that old safeguard with the new push-button system. It's not an afterthought, it's a direct evolution of decades of safety design. Okay, but now let's ask, couldn't the car just be smart enough to know the drivers in place and remove the brake step altogether? Technically, yes, cars could use weight sensors in the seat, cameras, or more advanced biometrics. But here's the thing, that adds complexity and cost, and those systems still wouldn't be foolproof. Even now, things like remote start systems don't let you drive away until you get in the car and press the brake pedal. Why? Because pressing the brake is the one action that guarantees physical human involvement. It's simple, it's reliable, and it works across all models and brands. What about hybrids and EVs? Good question. You might think that electric vehicles or hybrids would behave differently, but surprisingly they don't. Even in a Tesla or a Toyota Prius, pressing the brake is usually required to start or power on the vehicle. Why? Same reason, safety, intention, and control. Even though there's no engine to crank over, EVs can start moving silently the moment the system is active. So requiring the brake ensures that the car stays still until the driver is fully ready to drive. So, why do you still need to press the brake with keyless ignition? Because it's the simplest, most effective way to confirm you're in control. So next time you start your car and press the brake without even thinking about it, you'll know it's not just a mindless habit. It's actually a well-designed safety feature working quietly in the background. It's pretty fascinating when you realize how much thought goes into something that seems so routine, right? We often take these little interactions for granted, but behind every click, beep, and blink in your car is a decision made by engineers to keep you safe without slowing you down. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.